Part 10, right? Yeah. I can finally finish this. Yeah, I remember it being some sort of RPG. Well, the shirt says... Mass Effect. And... You're in my spot. Mass Effect is a game that came out two years ago on the Xbox 360. There, I'm done with my on-screen summary. Everyone I knew said they were excited for Mass Effect because it was from the same creators as KOTOR. And you know, good old inexperienced me, I was like, Durr, what means KOTOR? They would just get angry and never give me a straight answer. That was it. I never talked to this group of friends again. And that's how Gisha Otia comes full circle. You see, it was never really about the games two years ago. They were just symbols of my slow progression into becoming a hermit. And you know what? I've never been happier. Anyway, KOTOR means Knights of the Old Republic. I never played it because, get this, I was in college, I was broke, I didn't have time to play video games. Don't tell me to play KOTOR. So what does the title, Mass Effect, mean? Well, it's actually a mode of transportation. In the future, humans find these mass relays that help them jump across the galaxy. Of course, I can't discount the likelihood that somebody's trying to be artsy here, going for a double meaning, your choices here affect the future. God, I hate artsy people. Before you go out there affecting the masses, you have to construct your profile. And that includes your face. Well, we know how to handle this by now. You get to choose your history, and naturally all of them are tragic. And as for the other options, I just chose, I'm a man, I want to get out there and shoot some things. And there we go, I am Solidus Shepard. Of course I have to ask, what is Solidus going to be shooting at? I.e., what's the plot? All you really need to know is that there are these things called Reapers, and there's this guy named Saren who's following them, and they're going to destroy the universe. Your first mission lands you with a female and male counterpart, respectively Ashley Williams and, uh... I actually don't know this guy's name because I never took him on any missions. This first area taught me a lot about Mass Effect because I really didn't know what to expect coming into it. It's a sort of third-person shooter with a cover system that absolutely doesn't work. But I'm very happy that I don't have to worry about ammo. Guns just overheat. And I really like that the weapons are just generic. They're not trying to impose any special terminology on you. Running is a bit weird in that you can only do it while you're in combat. So if you want to see if you cleared an area, push and hold the A button. If the screen gets wobbly, there's still enemies in the area. But if you continue to run like a pansy, then you're all good. From there, you go to the mecha of the galaxy, the Citadel, and talk to some people, investigate some things, and it's quite boring. But really what you're doing is building a team, and then you get to go off and save the galaxy. The content of Mass Effect can really be divided into two categories, missions and side missions, or as they would euphemistically call it, assignments. I never had any intention of doing these assignments, but it just sort of happens. Someone would tell me to do something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll be right back. You know, you got some XP for me? I can level up. It's a good feeling. Some assignments just have you talk to people and you can charm or bully your way through the do. conversation. Other assignments have you go out and explore the galaxy and generally find out what went wrong on Planet X. Those assignments I didn't like very much. The first complaint is the vehicle. It's not very user-friendly. It doesn't go where you tell it to go. It tries to help you go where you tell it to go. You'll want to make a sharp turn, but it's going to back up instead. It looks like it's trying to automatically parallel park. I think you also have one of these vehicles in Final Fantasy VII. I think. I'm not going to play through another RPG just to get footage. The planets may be differently colored, but aside from that, they all look like the drive from Las Vegas to Reno. And I am never doing that again. And what's worse, all the buildings on these planets look the same. Somebody once explained why this happened. This, of course, was before they mentioned KOTOR and I stopped talking to them. And I had Future Storm and Brenda help me act it out. Okay, for this next planet, how about we have trees? Yeah, because looking at rocks is getting really old. Hey guys, we ran out of money. Finished the game. Damn it! Another problem I had with these assignments is you couldn't really go ping, 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 ping. These missions take too long to finish, and then go back to the person who gave it to you. And you know what? It has the same problem as Assassin's Creed 2. As in, why are we even bothering doing this? The Reapers are going to destroy you, but first you gotta go talk to some woman and convince her not to have an abortion. I did like the story missions, because there's only like five actual missions. And in an environment where I'm trying to marathon these games, that's always welcome. Just to clear things up, I don't hate Mass Effect, saying so would be unjust. But the game is supposed to be epic, and it just begs for you to do all these side missions. And dude, I just don't have the time, I gotta go make babies every now and then. Speaking of which, the sex scene in this game was pretty cool. I mean, not the actual scene, that was kind of lame. But instead, it was the fact that I was able to ignore people long enough that this actually came as a surprise. Awesome! 
After I beat this game, I honestly got up and made a quesadilla in preparation for Mass Effect 2. But don't expect a video from me or Future Storm on how to make them. Honestly, we're just guessing here. Hey, I was in the middle of something. Hey man, move your feet, lose your seat. I said I was in the middle of something. Fine, play your stupid Xbox. But remember, I own these consoles too. I wonder what he does while I'm at work all day. Mass Effect 2 was kind enough to allow me to import Solidus Shepard. All sliders to the right is forever. I kind of wish more sequels would have this functionality. Your past actions affecting future games? Mm, yeah, I'm going back on my statements about artsy people. If that was even their intention. But the developers of Mass Effect 2 had to plan for the contingency of anybody who didn't play Mass Effect 1. Meaning there are a couple of decisions that you could just stomp on saying, Oh no, I didn't do it like that. So here's how it goes. You and your crew are on your ship, which by the way was called the Normandy. And then it gets attacked by a super ship. Everyone escapes, but you die. And then the credits roll. Overall, I'd give Mass Effect 2 an A-. Yeah, I know, that wasn't very funny. A group called Three-Headed Dog that guards Hades picks you up and brings you back to life, and then Martin Sheen tells you to go fight the Reapers all over again. Now let's just compare this game to the first one. In Mass Effect 2, your female and male counterparts are Miranda and Jacob. I remember Jacob's name because he's just a cool guy. And I remember Miranda's name because she looks like a more fully figured Jessica Chobot that just got blitzed on hashish oil. Mass Effect 2 comes on two discs. The beginning is on the first disc, the middle is on the second disc, and the end's on the first disc. Yeah, that's pretty screwed up. I'm guessing they went to two discs because of all the FMVs. And I'm guessing they got the money for those FMVs because they're now published by EA. That had to be an interesting day around the office. Hey guys, EA is now sponsoring us. It's a better third-person shooter because it turned into Fun Times with the Lancer. Fun Times with the Lancer, Fun Times with the Lancer, digging around, digging around, digging around, DAMN! And because of that, we now have to worry about ammo. LAME! No grainy filter this time around, that's good. I don't even know why it was there in the first place. And if Mass Effect was blue and purple, then Mass Effect 2 is orange and yellow. Actually, it's another gray game, and I'll have you know that I was complaining about gray games well before everybody else. But it's a good kind of gray. It's the cold steel gray of the future in which we get to shoot robots non-stop. There are a few characters that you meet up with that you knew from the first game, and when they join you without fail, they're gonna say, Oh, just like old times. Pushe! All right, no more jumping around. Wait, they have a Scotty in engineering. Okay, now I'm done. You know that bit in the first game where you're walking around the Citadel building a team? Well, that's pretty much all Mass Effect 2 is. And even after you build your team, they each have a problem that you had to solve. It usually involves their family. Here's my solution. Ignore your family. So in that sense, there's only like four actual missions. And if you aren't careful, it's just gonna throw you into the final mission without warning. But... I do like these missions. They're nice and modular, like a weekly science fiction television show, where there's a different problem that they have to solve every week. But unlike a weekly television show, stuff actually happens and the plot progresses. Can you tell that I've given up on television? Life is good. Let's jump to the ending. Whoa, 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 what's going on? This is the crappiest ending ever! Everyone died, including me! The awesome climax of fighting a T-800 with an Iron Man energy core was destroyed by the fact that I didn't even survive. How on earth could they make Mass Effect 3 now? Well, after a quick internet search, I found out that I was doing everything wrong from the beginning. I had to solve everybody's problem, do more missions, and search for elements to upgrade my weapons. And how do we get those elements? Well, not with that vehicle anymore. Instead, we scan planets from orbit. Oh my god, who thought that this was a good idea? I mean, yeah, this sucked. But scanning these planets goes way off the deep end of boredom. So I tried again and scanned planets until I was ready to eat rat poison. And you know what? One of my members still died. Screw this, the ROI is terrible on this game. And worst of all, since I was trying for different outcomes, and since Mass Effect 2 just arbitrarily deletes my save files, I had to play through this game three times. So if Bioshock is beer, Metroid Prime 3 is athlete's foot, and Halo 3 is a heterosexual man, then the Mass Effect series is an infant child. It requires a lot of my attention and free time that I'm not really willing to give up. You can do the whole romance thing in this game too, but that just makes Shepard a man whore. I couldn't get back with Ashley because the bitch doesn't quite understand that I can't call her if I'm dead. Personally, I would have handled things differently. I would have given her this handmade gift card. So, what you doing? Playing Kirby's Tilt and Tumble? Could you read this card to the camera? <clears throat> Geth what? I'm a sorry, please take me back. 
something on the back here. If you don't like these puns, you have cancer. Storm, what did I tell you about saying stuff like this?